Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Claire expels Sheila clues to Finn, Luna, and RJ's trouble at work. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, April 24th, reveal that Deacon Sharp will pound over the discovery he just made online. After digging for details on Sugar aka Janet Weber, Deacon set up in composition with some important news about her case. It turns out Sugar was released a couple months ago. So now Deacon feels more confident than ever that Sugar is the one who ended up departed at the crematorium. That clearly explains why the person Deacon saw had Sheila Carter's face and ten toes. Sugar looked identical to Sheila with the exception of that missing toe, so Deacon will feel like the mystification pieces are falling into place. Of course, there's further to this BNB riddle since Deacon doesn't know how or when Sugar's exchange with Sheila went down. Cleric also doesn't know if Sheila might VE run off freely or if she could be stuck in some kind of trouble. It's clear that Cleric could use some backup, so he LL call the one person on the earth who might be willing to show concern for Sheila, and that's John Finn Finnegan. Once Cleric reveals what he learned from Lauren Fenmore Baldwin about Sugar's ornamental surgery, he LL explain that Sugar wanted vengeance and point to all the evidence he set up of this wild switch. After Cleric rehashes the ten toes he witnessed, he LL talk about the angry textbook exchange and how it makes sense that Sugar was coming to find Sheila after her captivity release. Finn will have to take Deacon's proposition a bit more seriously as the substantiation starts to mount. Cleric will make a vaticination about Sheila demanding their backing, and that's especially true if someone's holding her against her will. While Cleric gives Finn some pivotal Sheila and Sugar updates, Luna Nozawa will witness some awkwardness at work with RJ Forrester. Although RJ and Luna will try to put everything that happened with Zen Forrester Dominguez away, their LL still be a tense vibe as they try to team up on hope for the future. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Luna and RJ will struggle to figure out their working relationship in the fate of the guest house drama, so stay tuned. Luna and RJ struggle to work together, can you say awkward? On the April 24th occasion of the bold and the beautiful, spoilers exercise that RJ and Luna are uncomfortable together at work now that the verity about her and Zend is out. Zend admits to Carter that he'd coitus with Luna. Meanwhile, Deacon has a lead to find Sheila and asks for Finn's help. It should be an interesting occasion you do and want to miss. Hope for their relationship? There's a reason you should end date your co-workers. Still, you'll still face that person daily if effects do and work out. That's where Luna and RJ are. While their relationship status remains in the air, Luna and RJ must still work together at Forrester Creations on hope for the future. With Zend. It sounds like a form for embarrassment. Will Luna and RJ still be suitable to work adeptly with all this interpersonal messiness in the way? Will RJ be suitable to move past the hurt if he sees Luna a lot, or will it be further of a painful memorial? In the interest of full exposure, Zen tells his confidant, Carter that he not only pursued Luna, he actually slept with her. Given how Carter replied to just the first part of Zen's story, we do and suppose Carter will have important understanding. Zend, you do and sleep with your kinsman's gal. Cleric asks for Finn's help by now, Cleric knows that the key to chancing Sheila has commodity to do with sugar. As crazy as the whole backstory sounds, those dispatches on Sheila's computer from sugar reveal that their connection continued. Cleric turns to the one person he thinks will help him figure out this mystification, Finn. Will Finn agree to help Dean in chancing his natural mama? Or will he go home to his woman? And try to forget what Deacon says? The stylish place for true cleaner suckers to be is our Facebook groups. Have you joined? Sugar's Hidden Release, Brooke's Secret, RJ Blabs. The bold and the beautiful recap for Tuesday, April 23, 2024 reveals that Moments Occasion featured RJ Forrester dishing to Brooke Logan. Deacon Sharp learns Janet Weber aka Sugar was released from captivity a many months ago. The bold and the beautiful recap highlights this intensifies the hunt for Sheila Carter. Plus, John Finn Finnegan ruins closeness by bringing up Sheila and Hope Logan. Sugar Coded Lies BNB recap and spoilers for Tuesday, April 23rd reveal that the occasion started off at IL Giardino Eatery. Cleric makes coffee while relating what Lauren Fenmore Baldwin told him about Sugar and Sheila. 
Cleric reads about sugar online and how she paid for Sheila's crimes. BNB Recap Tuesday, April 23, 2024 Sugar's Hidden Release, Brooke's Secret, RJ Blab's Cleric starts allowing about the textbook dispatches between Sugar and Sheila. Cleric is sure that Sheila sounded spooked in the textbook dispatches. Cleric prodigies if Sheila left City without telling him because she felt she was in peril. Cleric continues reading online and discovers Sugar was end in captivity at the time of Sheila's death. Sugar had been released on good jest. A many months prior. BNB Recap, John Finnegan's Mood Ruining Over at the Cliff House, Finn and Steffi Forrester Finnegan come in from swimming. They make out and go over to the lounge. Their make as chul session is intruded by a textbook communication from Lee Finnegan, who sends a picture of Kelly Spencer. They suppose it's sweet, which prompts Finn to ruin the moment by bringing up Hope as well as Sheila. Finn and Steffi Bandy, how grief can make you see effects. Steffi wants to know why Deacon's problem has to be their issue. Steffi calls Sheila a monster. Trending now. BNB spoilers Sheila's return forces Steffi to flee to Thomas in Paris? Finn shoots her a look, so Steffi apologizes. As they get back to making out, Finn reminds Steffi that his connection to Sheila does end compared to the one with his woman. And kitties. The Bold and the Beautiful Recap, R.J. Forrester Blabs The Bold and the Beautiful Recap for Tuesday, April 23rd reveals that R.J. tries to work, but C.A.N. stop allowing about Luna Nozawa and Zen Forrester Dominguez. Brooke walks by and senses commodity is bothering R.J. Brooke pushes, indeed though R.J. says he does and want to talk about it. R.J. blabs that Luna was with another Joe without bringing up the mints first. So, of course, Brooke is freaking out. RJ eventually tells Brooke that Luna accidentally took Poppy Nozawa's magical mints. Now Brooke understands and feels bad for Luna. Trending now. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Steffi Forrester is running down again Brooke is like RJ and both put the blame on Zend, not Luna. Still, Brooke warns that Ridge Forrester might not take it so well. RJ begs his mama not to tell Ridge about Luna and Zend. BNB Recap, Tuesday, April 23, 2024 On Tuesday, April 23, Luna works in the design room as she recalls confessing to RJ. Poppy interrupts Luna's bad dream. Poppy apologizes for contributing to Luna and RJ's bifurcation. Luna says it's okay since Poppy gave up the mints, did she really, though? Poppy and Luna talk about the RJ situation. Poppy hopes that RJ can forgive Luna. Poppy also adds that Luna should not lose faith in RJ just yet. Brooke Logan, the voice of reason Brooke Logan can tell there's commodity up with RJ Forrester and gets him to tell her the verity. Luna Nozawa slept with Zend Forrester. Brooke is shocked to say the least because she really liked Luna and did not suppose that she'd break her son's heart. Also, RJ tells her how it happened and Brooke's studies change. BNB Spoilers Tuesday, April 23rd Shock for Brooke, Romance for Finn and Steffi Astonishingly, Brooke seems to be the only person who snappily catches on to the fact that Luna didn't cheat with Zend and rather, she had non-consensual coitus with a man who should have realized she was hallucinating but didn't. She doesn't condemn Zend, but does condemn Poppy Nozawa and her veritably special mints. Trending nil. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Steffi has dubieties about Sheila's murder it's hard to tell who's actually to condemn then but will Brooke move RJ and Luna that there was no factual infidelity involved in this awful, horrible tale? Steffi Forrester and Finn Finnegan take some time. While Brooke is dealing with RJ and his problems, at least a little love is passing in Steffi Forrester Finnegan's precipice house. Sure, she picked a woman in the living room in February but no matter. She wanted that woman dead, or at least she thinks she did. Eventually, Steffi and Finn find some time to be alone together and take advantage of the situation. It's a good thing too because all hell is about to break loose.